Let's go now to Rotorua and the brutal death of Moko Rangi Tohiriri, who suffered prolonged and sadistic abuse at the hands of his caregivers in 2015. Today, the inquest into the three-year-old's death began in the Rotorua District Court in front of Coroner Wallace Spain. There, Moko's mother said she did everything in her power to keep her children safe. She talked about the domestic violence she suffered in her relationship with Moko's father and made an emotional plea to others in similar situations, leave and never go back. Eva Corlett reports. Moko Rangi Tohiriri died after two months of abuse by the two people who were meant to be caring for him and his sister. He had been left in Taupo with Tanya Shayla and David Hairewa while his mother was in Auckland Starship Hospital looking after another child. He died on August 10, 2015, after suffering horrendous injuries from beatings and abuse, and Shayla and Hairewa were sentenced to 17 years in jail for Moko's manslaughter last year. Nicola Daly Pucky was asked in court what checks she had made on Shayla before leaving her children in her care. Okay, well, I didn't do a police background check and I didn't ask all the social workers what was going on with the mental health. I just made an assumption as knowing her from the previous early childhood that she would be safe opposed to putting them into a gang life. She said they had known each other for 15 years. We had uh, lunches at the lake. We'd spent, I think, a Christmas together at the lake. We shouted them a barbecue, bought presents for her kids. Nicola Daly Paki said she was desperate to find somewhere for the children because they were not allowed to stay with her in the hospital. She said she was trying to find a better situation for the family and placing the two children with Shayla was a last resort. But Ms Daly Paki said if the authorities had concerns, they knew where to find her. But they did not once contact the Auckland DHB social workers that work at Starship to gather evidence about me and my background for the investigation. If they had, they would have been notified by the Auckland DHB social workers and my uncle would still be alive, Your Honour. She said she was in a complicated situation, trying to find safe housing for herself and her children, and if she had been less harshly judged, her son would still have been alive today. Ms Daly Paki was asked about what she would say to others who are in violent relationships. Start planning, start procrastinating privately, organise all your personal information, your ID, money, any identification that you will need in the future. Have an emergency plan. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Mokko's paternal grandmother also gave evidence to the inquest and asked why various agencies had not listened to her concerns. Nicola Rangitohiriri had offered to have the child, but their mother rejected the offer. Mrs Rangitohiriri said she had been let down by child youth and family. You didn't help me either. All I basically got was that there was an investigation and putting my hand up to have them meant nothing. Please tell me why no one bothered to check on them after complaint was made against the mother, just to ensure their well-being. Tania had four children of her own. The inquest will continue tomorrow. For Checkpoint, Core Eva Corlett, Tenne.